How can I find and use libraries in my application in eCockpit? Each application comes by default with a library manager. Here we can see libraries that are already added to our project. For example, we've got the standard library, which comes with different function blocks and functions that you can always use in your application. Vago also provides a few libraries that you can use. To take a look at them, we click on Add Library. Here we've got them structured in different views. I will take a look at the layer view now, because here we can see the application libraries, solution libraries, system libraries and types and interfaces. The application libraries have an easy to understand function blocks, which consist out of the raw function blocks from the system libraries and the types and interfaces library. So if we take a look at this category, we can see that there's a list of libraries that you can choose from. If you don't know the direct name of a library, we can also search by using the full text search here at the top. For example, I could search for a library that provides me the possibility to control the LEDs on my controller. We've got the Vago App App LED here. Or maybe we want to have a pump in our system, which we want to visualize. So we would find that in the Vago App Building HVAC, we got a pump visualization. For this example, I will now take the data logger library so I will type in data logger and it will tell me that I can add the library here. If I add this, we can take a look at the basic structure that our Vago libraries usually have. So first you can see that we've got different folders. We've got one folder for program organization units where you find function and function blocks, visualizations, then status and internal. Those two folders you rarely need. Also, it comes with a few others which I will show in a moment. But first we take a look at program organization units. Here we've got our function blocks, for example, the function block data logger, which then you can see on the right side, the inputs and outputs that this function block have, then also a graphical view of this, and most importantly, a documentation. Here you can see how this function blocks can be used and what you need to make sure if you need to use this function block. This is the same for all the function blocks that you find in the application libraries. If we want to add a function block from a library into our project, we just go to the project, hit F2 to bring up the input assistant, and then we will find it under the category function blocks inside of the library. We can select it, hit OK, define a name, and hit OK. And now if we create an instance of the function block. So here, Vago App Data Logger dot FB Data Logger, and the ins and outputs in the corresponding language into your program. If you want to use a visualization of a program, we can go to the toolbox, select the frame, and then select the visualization which we want to display to be shown in this frame. The frames are then connected by the properties by references. This is always the same for the Vago frames. So here it will ask for an instance of the data logger function block. This is shown more in depth in the video about the Vago app data logger library. If we go back to the library manager, if we want to search for something inside the library, we can just select the library name and then start typing what we are searching for. So I want to know how the channel configuration is being made up. So I'm looking for channel and I can find the channel config here. If I say open, it will tell me that I can't open the channel configuration, but I still can take a look at the documentation here. So here I can see how the data type, type channel config is being built up. Also, most libraries come with a parameter list. This parameter list often brings in variables which can be edited. So for example here, we've got the maximum of channels and we can edit this value. So if I want to change the value of a library, I can do this in the parameter list. All in all, libraries that you can add to your project can be a real time saver because we already programmed the code you need for you.